Next, we will go to third uh, method, so modality. We can use again a linked test. It will be F wave. F wave, it's one of the late responses. As Michael said, it's the answer of modern urine uh, for its stimulation. So we can stimulate the same point and supermaximal level. And uh, as Michael said, we have two different uh, scales. It's uh, for motor answer, it will be, for example, 10 millivolts uh, here. 500 microvolts. And we uh, stimulated several times, uh, uh, at least 10 for simple uh, analysis. We can use repetitive stimulation. You can see good F waves. They, are, uh, they look reliable and they change their configurations normally for F waves because they are much smaller, uh, it's sufficient for us. It's a simple analysis of F wave. Uh, most in interest for us, it's a uh, onset laten latency for F wave because it's uh, uh, estimate the most fast exons and we check it for polyneuropathy and some uh, mononeuronal diseases. So we get, uh, also uh, it's important to show that uh, these uh, no, no, normal values are strictly connected with height of the person. So, and uh, it's uh, compared with this. Also, you can use uh, and measure real uh, distance from the uh, seventh vertebra up to the points of stimulation. But it's uh, okay, normal by height too. So we get a good F wave. 